fuck this crap. <laughs> Whoa, 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 wait, 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 how old are you right there? You. Wait. I can't. Yeah, one sees two members, four members. Oh no, six or eight members. Oh my team, I'm sending so much the bloody team, I'm sending ya. I don't see big balls. <laughs> <laughs> Despite being what shit, fuck is this guy getting about? it right <laughs> once in a blue moon, your streams and community interactions are Cold, cold, never appreciate it. Love it, those losers, those haters. Love it, Jamie Carver, especially. Thank you, Adonis. Much love, sir. Much love. Guys, I literally came to Target to get the Celsius. I've got tennis appearing on my For You page. Is this because of Topspin? Jokovic suck at losing. Get up here. Yeah, I don't know what's up with my for you page, man. I think there's like some mistakes. Y'all be thinking if somebody lay in a room all day, they depressed. Bitch, I'm, I'm, I've never been happier. I got my darkening curtains closed. <laughs> Whoever playing Geo Gecker on screen. This is not my for you page. Uh, definitely it's Michael for me on that one. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's an easy one. Gary Neville or Carl Walker? We'll go with Kyle. I don't know. I, I mean, I'd we'll go, go with, with Gaz, personally. <laughs> that's <laughs> nice of you. Personally, I'd go with Gaz. <laughs> Cole or David? Yapstam or Ruben Diaz? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yapstam. Yeah. Ronnie Johnson or Manuel Akanji? I've got Ronnie Johnson. Me too. Dennis Irwin. Yeah, that's the question. Okay, know, okay. so not even going to mention Gladio. Roy Keane or Listen. Rodri? No. Oh! Roy Keane. <laughs> wow. Skulls or Bernardo Silva? Skulls. Skulls. Wow. <laughs> Beckham or Kevin De Bruyne? Kevin. No! Oh, I'll, go, I'll, go, I'll go, Kevin. Kevin. go him. You two, I mean, I know you're We've mates, got for each other. Yeah. But he has got good we hair. We drops each other, you know. Gigs or Grealish? Uh, Gigsy. Dwight York or Phil Foden? That's 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 I'd go Yorkie. Yeah. Well. I love Phil though. I, I love do Phil love Phil. Yeah. I love I love his passion. No, it's a different position. Your it? first sub in our treble team. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Andy Cole. No, I dare Ireland. you. We're gonna. You've got to put. You've got to put York and Cole together. Uh, and separate. Yeah, you can't separate them. <sighs> respect. 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 Cole. Cole. Cole was underrated. Oh, they're gonna show us the goal. Look at this fucking goal. Look at this. Look at this shit. Is that Milan's new kit for next season? Fuck, that looks kind of fire, man. It's a, like it's a bit traditional. It's Pioli's final game, and they're going to celebrate with him. Fuck, you know. Show the goal. Oh, they didn't show the goal. Let's see if I can find the goal for you guys, man. Holy fuck. Terrible, man. Look at this shit, bro. What is this goalkeeping? Hey, that's match fixing, surely. No? That's match fixing. That's gotta be match fixing. What else is it? What else is it? If, 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 if that's not match fixing, what is it? Like, it's almost over. Leverkusen are close to getting the double. Oh my days, top spin. What the fuck? I actually thought that was top spin. It's actually a real life thing. But it's the Monaco Grand Prix. Is it? Who's playing? They've done it. Leverkusen have won it. To each other in Manchester knows that the derby days and stuff. We did, didn't we? A couple of times. You wasn't giving it a big end in Manchester. But... Listen, I speak on behalf of City fans. Micah Richards should not be representing Manchester City. This loving merchant wouldn't know football if it slapped him in the face. He's a disrespectful cretin. He's actually an Arsenal fan. Um, Manchester City as a club want nothing to do with this bona fide loser. The only reason he's on television week in, week out is because he loves. Period. Knows fuck all about football.
They screen Damn. shit, man. But now you're paying. These are the soldiers helping us get twenty. Okay, that's enough. That's enough for you, man. They should get MCFC to replace Micah. No, they should. They honestly should. Like, I mean, you, you say it as a joke, but they should. They should. Rooney's, an, Rooney, Rooney's a phenomenal pundit. Say what you want about Rooney, but Rooney knows football. And what, what I admire with Rooney is he's not willing to do what the rest of those losers do, like Jamie Carragher, just sit there. Like, Rooney's giving it a proper go. You know, he doesn't care. He's there willing to coach whoever. He's willing to go down to League One if necessary. He's willing to sit there and coach. He could easily be a pundit and be a much better pundit than a Jamie Carragher or a Gary Neville for that matter. But he loves the game. He wants to test himself. He's always been like that. It's a different mentality. The rest of those losers, they're comfortable. They're comfortable doing exactly what they're doing at the moment. Just sitting there only watching Premier League games and then having the audacity to talk about football in general. <laughs> Jay or guessing. Didn't he relegate Birmingham? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Well, he didn't officially relegate them. Felix to Barca, thoughts. I think it's the best possible appointment Barcelona could have made in this current market. <clears throat> exactly. Exactly. Second half is about to start. We'll send it at the end. Birmingham was on course to be promoted until he took them over. But they were on course to be promoted. It was very early on in the season. They were in a false position. Ah, uh, we've seen it. Petri under Flick. Petri's last season, probably. Yeah, that's the thing. I think Petri, I think, I think Hansi Flick will turn Gavi into a demon. But Pedri stylistically is not really a Hansi Flick type player. Hansi obviously wants players to, to, to run and run and run and run. I mean, it's, it's, that's the one it could be a little bit fearful of. It's all good, fine. We'll check it at the end. Pedro will play as the player behind the striker. Yeah, if Hansi Flick wants to play a 4-2-3-1, I, 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 I probably think Gundogan will be the one behind the striker. I don't know. I think it'll be Gundogan behind Lewandowski. I wonder, that's the thing, like, Pedri, I wonder if he'll shift him on the left if Barcelona don't get a left winger. I don't know. If you were Julian Alvarez, would you leave in the summer or stay fighting for a spot another season? I would leave because, with all due respect, um, he's getting disrespected. Um, the guy gets criticized when he's not playing week in, week out. He comes on and people criticize him because, oh, he missed the chance and whatnot. But the guy is an unbelievable player and he's a striker. It's as simple as that. Uh, he's a striker that needs to be playing week in, week out. And he'll kill it for, 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 for anybody else that he'd join. And where would Pedri play, RS? Next to Gavi? I think that'd be too offensive. You'd need a defensive midfielder. Bet is on the attack immediately. No penalty. Oh, madre mia. This means a lot for Leverkusen, by the way. They're celebrating it more than the Bundesliga title. It's crazy. Gavi plays under the Muller role. Nah, I doubt it. I think that'd be Gundogan. Yeah. But you see, okay, so you're saying you're going to miss the Varane and Leach a partnership. But then you were the first one to criticize Ten Hag when how many games has he had where he, he's played both of them? It's like imagine if Arsenal didn't play with Gabriel and Saliba all season. We've seen what happened with Arsenal last season 
Oh, Rudiger mistake. When William Saliba got injured. And then people shit on Ten Hag when he... Ha but like, look how many games they've missed. Imagine Arsenal if, if Ben White was missing all season. Luke Shaw hasn't played the fucking game. It's the Zerbi. Corner Betis. I tell you what, man. This Real Madrid performance is not one that is at the moment lighting the Bernabeu up on fire. That's for sure. Not the performance you want to see a week before the biggest game.